Hey you guys, the story isn't about the paranormal, uh, but it is a tale of Hoffman and some other folks. In the uh, 1980s, early 1980s, we were all trying to bust into comic books, you know. Um, I was living in Columbia, South Carolina. Scott Hampton lived there. His brother Bo Hampton lived there. We had other friends that were doing it. Uh, we all went up to New York. You know, knocking on the doors, Marvel and DC and heavy metal and everything else. I remember meeting uh, Rick Bryant, hung out in his studio, uh, Milton Knight Jr., uh, a lot of other people. And um, stayed up there for a while. I sold a gold, gold Les Paul to help me uh, finance the trip. And I uh, remember going to Marvel Comics. And, uh, you know, it's pretty exciting. Got our portfolios and everything, went upstairs. That's when Jim Shooter was in power, if that's the right word, in charge. And uh, went into his office. And I, I gotta say, I had a chip on my shoulder back then. I had a, probably a couple of big ones, probably very large ones, obscuring my head, most likely. And um, so we went in there, threw our, you know, laid our stuff out. He looked at it. He looked at mine and he looked, he pointed at a panel and he said, uh, we don't chop people off at the legs here at Marvel, meaning that I had cropped in on a figure. And I was just, I said, you gotta be kidding me. I could pick up any comic book around here and, you, and you've got that in there. Then he said, interview's over. So I don't think it was really about that. It was about would I take direction, would I, you know, all that. So anyway, nothing ever came of that. I did wind up working for Marvel later, did Hellraiser and Hell, no, Hellblazers, DC, Hellraiser's Marvel. Designed a couple of characters for them too, and I think I got royalties, Cenobites, and I uh, got some royalties on those uh, while they used them. And um, I remember going to the last day up in New York, it's like I'd talked to Heavy Metal, talked to John Workman, actually, and... Uh, he wanted me to do a, uh, no, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, he was a, he was at metal, heavy metal, but also went to Warren. And uh, the people at Warren said, uh, oh, yeah, we like your stuff. Do a pinup, you know, inside front cover sort of thing, like Wrights and what we used to do and stuff like that. So I did one, and I went by on my way to the airport, leaving New York, and dropped it off in the office, and uh, just with the secretary or whatever, and then later I got back and everyone said, oh, man, you shouldn't have done that, and I guess not, because nothing was ever heard of it ever again. But uh, those were the days, you know. Uh, Mark Breger later went on to become Nick Pagan. He was part of the comic scene there, and Scott Hampton, of course, went on to, you know, good things, big-time uh, artists with DC doing painted comics and stuff like that. So, anyway... That's enough for now, right?